anyway, do you have any similitude with Gabriel? With Gabriel? Well, I I don't know. I actually fell in love with the with the character of Gabriel the first time I I I, I wrote the book. I read the book. Um, I think is an it's a very interesting character. Um, I think he can be very much misunderstood as a as a dickhead, but he's not. He's just a broken heart that does not how to does not how to does not know how to deal with pain and is just trying to deal in the worst way possible, which is basically self hurting his, himself. And I think that there is a lot of people out there today, uh, including me, in the past that were not able to deal with, with pain. Pain is a very difficult thing to deal with, especially emotional pain. Because, you know, the physical pain can somehow uh, 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 finish some way, somehow, in medicines and stuff. But the emotional pain is very much difficult to, to deal with. And, 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 and so I started to, you know, I started to try to see uh, when and where I was that, you know, in that in, in such a dark time in my life, and trying to you know to use it um, to tell the story of Gabriel, and uh, and it was very interesting to get there, to get again in that specific moment of my life uh, with with the brain and the heart of a 30, 35 year old man now. So you know, Gabriel definitely definitely teach me how not to judge uh, on people from their actions dot but also from their actions but most of the time there is always a reason why people behave in a certain ways and and we as human beings uh, tend to you know uh, not express our pain not show our pain to the world because it's it's even more painful because people take advantage of that pain and so we close each other into a shell and we try to avoid any sort of uh, you know contact with with the world we don't want that we don't want them to see us in that pain and so it was very interesting for me to try to understand how to make this not just you know uh, an attitude but a real need of of trying to get away from everybody and and self-hurting myself of course in an acting pers from an acting pers perspective i was trying to to be as healthy as I could, um, you know, to perform because every day Tosca would be like, guys, come on, it's 5 a.m., good morning, let's do this. And till, you know, 10 o'clock in the evening, it was very difficult. But, but you know, it's very interesting. I think that us as storytellers are very much intrigued by people and by, by you know, um, un unusual stories, unusual people. Um, so I'm not the perfect guy, not the perfect girl, but more like the unperfect of the, the unperfect, whatever, uh, <laughs> the, the, you know, everything that is not that everything that is human, you know, guys, everything that has a, that has a reason, even if it's not what we expect, even if it's not what we want, even if it's not what we wish, but that, but has a reason. And we try to dig and see what's that reason for it and why this is happening and and how I can tell the story and let people you know get close to that story and and, and, and feel related so that's very interesting for me um, sorry I, I talk I, I talk too much but uh, it's very <laughs> it's very uh, unusual for me to answer questions and I'm not really good at it so sorry guys um, what what was your first reaction when you knew that you get the role of Gabriel? You're the, you're the perfect Gabriel. Thank you so much, Julio Peru. Uh, well, I was like, I was like, holy moly guacamole. I was like, this is going to be insane. I love this role, but I have to work like crazy on my accent. I have to work like crazy on the script. Guys, when you have a script that is 220 pages, it's just crazy in your own language. When you have 220 pages in English, it's fucking crazy. When you have 20, 220 pages in American language, it's just not possible. It's just like, you know, it's, 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 it's that really fine line between fear, panic, and oh my God, this is, this is fantastic. And I was always doing this. I was always crossing through 
I'm not going to be able to do it to I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the best that I can to fulfill this need of people that wants to see the story and that, oh my gosh, I cannot do it because I w because it was very difficult. It was I was trying to, you know, work on my accent and and things were not there, ne um, you know, that um, they were not there um, uh, um, natural and 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 you know with that naturality that with that fluidity that you need to have to play such a character but you know i'm a hard worker and i know that i can count on that and i count on, and i count on that and even though i struggled a lot in, especially in the very beginning but i think i did a great job uh not because i want to take credit for myself because it's not my job to say it i i'm pretty sure that you guys um you guys will see it and you guys will have to decide if I did a good job or a great job or a shitty job, but I'm, I'm very much um, happy with myself because I know that I put everything that I had into this role, everything that I had into this role. I sacrificed my life for four or five months and it was the best thing ever because I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud to have the chance to do it and to prove myself that I'm capable at least to try it so what whatever is going to be is going to be for me a success anyway as as far as i can tell to myself of course i hope you guys will enjoy it as much as i enjoyed it while i was doing it but i'm pretty sure you guys will because i know that sylvan loved it tosca loved it and everybody from fashion fix and other people loved it so i really hope that we are going to love that too but as an actor i can really say that i i couldn't have more than what I've done so I hope you guys will be happy with my work um, tell us about the purple towel scene no I can't in italiano però la tua voce sarà doppiato ma presumo la mia voce però sono queste cose che non dipendono da me I will save the dark please uh, Tosca is with us I'm so happy hi Tosca love you very much and congratulations you're, you're for your nephew um, and uh, do you like Gabriel's character development along with the books? Yes, I loved it very much. It's very, inter it's very interesting and very challenging. As I said, as a human being and as an actor, to work with such a unique story and you know to try to find a way to to really understand the sense of that story and make it yours and tell that story out from your heart, not from your brain. You know, when you're actually acting. You don't want you don't want people to see that you're acting. You want people believe that what you're saying is true because it comes from your heart, it comes from your gut, not from your brain. And it's very difficult to do it in Italian. <laughs> Imagine in English with the American accent. But again, um, I really I was really helped helped by and everyone on set and Melanie as well. Melanie as well was very nice with me. She was you know she's Australian, but she of course she speaks better than me English, but. She was very nice. She was trying to help me to, to you know, do all the things that we were, you know, working on, on, on the script every Sunday. We were like prepping the week out for like three hours. We were crashed by the week, but, you know, hard workers, boom, 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 always on, always on, always on. And I think we've, I mean, we're pretty happy with what we've done. I've seen the trailer and I think my voice sounds great. The accent is good and we'll see. We'll see the rest. Hablo español, sí hablo un poquito de español, lo entiendo mucho más que lo hablo, pero lo hablo. Uh, that is a great scene. Ciao Francesca, describe Melanie in three worlds. Well, she's super sweet, she's unique, and she's... <laughs> I love her, guys. I love her so much. I can say anything with just good words. I really love her. Like, I do love her very much. Like, for real. Um, did you read the books before you began filming the movie? Uh, well, I read the books while I was filming the movie, the first book, because I wanted to... You know, when you work with, 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 with something like that, um, the mistake, or actually the, the you know, uh, the tricky... Uh, part of the job would be to would be to actually have your own idea about what the book is and how to portray the character 
uh, I try to avoid this because I did it in the past on a previous um, on a previous job that I've done many many years ago. So I wrote the book, and um, and basically I I arrived on set and the director has a completely different idea from what I imagined, and it was very difficult to actually change that. Luckily, I work with Tosca very much on the script, very specifically on the script. She gave me very specific details on how she wanted me to be. And so as soon as I knew that that was exactly what I was going to do and how she wanted me to be, uh, I started to, you know, read, read the book with that mentality. So that really helped me to actually you know, portrayed the right Gabriel that Tosca wanted me to, and which is the Gabriel of the book, without having me uh, imagine a different Gabriel. So I didn't have to fight against my idea, my own idea, and your ideas, or the idea of, the idea of Tosca. Um, and I think it's the best way to go in this particular um, situation. Uh, have you have to love a tormented soul yes i do because i have one is it hard to play anger when you have to shout at someone well <laughs> that's a good question well i'm a very you know i think i'm a very gentle person i love to have a very nice environment around me around myself especially when i work and in general in in life you know i love animals i love nature i really don't like to do wars you know i love martial arts because actually they bring me peace very much um, and of course, because if somebody wants to, you know, play you around, you can still kick asses, but it's not, you know, it's not for me. I don't like violence. So in the very beginning of my career, that was something that I really had to struggle with because I was not good at shouting people. I was not good at, at, at being, you know, uh, cynic and, and hard and, you know, very strong and, you know, connected to the power of anger that each one of us have. Um, but little by little, I trained and I developed myself also in that specific way. And um, now I have my own, my own technique. So I try to imagine to be with somebody, with a certain person, certain people from my past that actually, you know, made me suffer a lot. And I imagine to talk to them and say what I think about them. And so when I do that, most of the time, I'm not really aware of what I'm doing because I really get, I get lost in that sort of a state of mind. But luckily, it's just for that specific, you know, um, um, cut for that sp specific scene. I don't go around in a city or in my real life shouting at people. I don't like it. And I don't like when somebody do it to somebody else. I really don't like people that are shouting to people. I don't like people that take advantages of people. Um, yeah, I get really not in comfort with those kind of moments. So I don't like to be one of them. But of course, for acting, you do it. Um, so let me see guys, other, other questions. Um, will you be filming the fourth book Gabriel's Promise well actually now we have to film the second and the third so <laughs> we'll see there's a lot of time for that but I really hope so and I'm pretty sure we will uh, thank you so proud of me thank you very much um, let me see other questions guys your accent does not take away from the character from Alpha Grand Oh, thanks. Uh, how are you feeling that in a couple of days we're going to watch the first part? Well, I'm pretty excited because I want to watch it myself. I want to see what I've done. And at the same time, I'm like really scared because I wanted to, you know, I want to make you guys happy. At the end of the day, you know, we work for ourselves, but there's a part of us which really depends on you guys. And I mean, I can say to myself that I've done everything that I could to make it, you know, to make the best Gabriel possible. And I'm pretty sure that I've done everything that I could. But at the same time, if you guys will be disappointed, 
I will be unhappy. That's the reality is that I will be very unhappy. I will be like, oh, fuck, why? You know, because it's just out of my control. But that's that's the job that we choose to do. And we got to, we have to accept the idea of being judged by someone else. And sometimes it really is really fulfilling. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's fantastic, but sometimes it's really bad. And I think that, you know, you need to smile about it in those cases. But of course, there's a part of me which is like, let's hope that they will love it so we'll see i'm, I'm pretty i'm like a kid you know I, I get shy i get emotional i get like Ooh, let's see let's cross fingers but i'm i mean i hope that you guys will love it as as much as i loved it i really really enjoyed myself doing that and it's i will never uh thank enough tosca and passion flicks and you know all the people ellie and you know all the people that were involved into this project to actually give me um you know trust trusted me to to do this movie and to to be gabriel because i know it's a big responsibility and and yeah it, it, it was one of the, the very best uh, experience that i've done in my entire life not just the acting one but really in my entire life the people i met the the quality of the people on set I mean, it's just was just perfect, you know. It was just really, really perfect. It was like a fairy tale. It was like living uh, in a fairy tale, um, and um, yeah, I really miss to be on set. To be honest, I would love to be on set again on Fayetteville uh, when we were shooting. When we were shoot, where we were shooting the Apple Orchard, those places more or less, and. Um, I miss them very